What's up YouTube? Scott, Scott A Tradition back with another video. This video is going to be a response to a collector's dream, uh, Orlando, and also to Sammy Thunder, who are basically having a little contest, uh, and they are asking us to make a video about who we consider our hobby friends, and I think the video, the uh, contest is just meant to kind of spark, kind of almost like with the YouTube Hall of Fame uh, started, uh, you know, back in 2017, and that's to just kind of get other channels out there and to just kind of throw support to them, and I'm definitely all for that. Um, so we got Orlando, a collector's dream, and then Sammy Thunder. They're both close to 2,000 subscribers. I think Sammy Thunder actually hit 2,000, and I think that Orlando is very close. So if you're not subscribed to a collector's dream, uh, definitely go and put him over that 2,000 threshold. Um, my understanding is they're having a little contest and giving away some cards in a live stream at some point after they both hit 2,000 subscribers. So congratulations to those guys. Um, I've watched both their channels. Um, I've I've known Orlando a little bit longer and more, watch more of his stuff, but um, the couple videos I've watched of Sammy Thunder, uh, I do enjoy as well. So I'm going to just kind of go through a few channels that um, are people, they're more than just channels, you know, these are actual people behind the channels that I've gotten to know over the last number of years that, you know, I certainly consider friends and, um, you know, I was watching Mike's uh, baseball card collector's response to this same thing and you know he's obviously had a lot of people over to his card uh room and his house and this and that people have stayed with him over the years and i i certainly think that's awesome that's great that um his hobby has kind of gone that way um for me i'm not necessarily as close i would say to people like that but there are people that i hold in some pretty high regard and that i do communicate with on a pretty regular basis so um, the first one that I'm going to come up with here is Joey Burkett 8. And the reason I have Joey uh, on this list is that, you know, we've I've stayed with Joey the last three Nationals, all in Chicago. Um, the very first one, um, I stayed with him and Everett. And then, um, if I recall, we stayed together the last two Nationals in Chicago as well. So Joey's just a great guy. Uh, Bart Star Super Collector. I'm definitely going to give some homage to some football channels on here because uh, it is a lot easier. Uh, you only really know this if you're a football card channel, but it is a lot easier to get those high numbers of subscribers a lot quicker if you're a primarily baseball-focused channel. Uh, or unless you're doing, like, maybe something with modern football. But, like, any kind of, like, vintage or uh, 90s or 2000s football typically not going to shoot up the subscriber levels uh, super fast. So that's just something that we all kind of keep in mind as football card collectors, and we find it kind of funny. Uh, but Joey Burkett 8, man, he's been on YouTube for 12 years, and uh, he's a true collector, so certainly we connect in that way, and both Packers fans, and I collect some Bart Starr stuff as well, and, you know, he's primarily Bart Starr along with some other stuff. So, uh, yeah, you know, Joey's a great dude. Um, he's... He's one of only uh, two YouTubers that's actually been to my house and seen the Scotty Tradition collection in person. And uh, we've also been to a card show as well and just kind of talk on and off throughout the weeks, whether it's a Bucks game we're commenting about or a Seinfeld episode or really anything. Uh, it doesn't always have to be about sports, but uh, definitely Joey Burkett 8 is definitely high on the YouTube friends list. Um, we certainly have a lot of collecting commonalities as well as regional commonalities as well and um, another great football channel is brad8671 um got to hang out with brad at the last two nationals um kind of ran ran in the similar circles that i was in so brad's just a great dude followed his channel for a number of years now and you know big dolphins fan football collector uh, i would say mainly he does collect some other stuff as well but Football is his primary focus, so Brad's definitely on this list. Uh, this last national here in 2023, uh, he stayed at our same hotel and, you know, got to hang out with Brad a lot more uh, this year as well, uh, in com combination with last year. So uh, some somebody, again, that I hold in pretty high regard as a collector and a channel. 
Um, hasn't been to my house or anything like that, but uh, nonetheless, uh, definitely a YouTube friend. And uh, the other football channel I'll name is Bart's Cards. So Bart hasn't put out a video in about four months, but that's because he is uh, in deployment overseas and he's a little busy. So, uh, but if there is one channel that kind of mimics mine the most, I would say it's Bart's channel. We almost have the same exact amount of subscribers. Uh, the way he collects 49ers with like the Hall of Fame set and, you know, the Jerry Rice focus uh, is very, very similar to how I collect Packers. Um, he also collects some baseball, which I do as well. And just cool looking cards. So it's not like that's his only focus, but he is definitely like a 49ers collector first. And I can totally subscribe to everything that in the way he collects. And he definitely has an eye for quality as well. Um, I know he sold some stuff the last year or two when the market got high. Probably a smart move. And he's kind of rebuying into some stuff now. But yeah, Bart and just a, a, a class act guy. You know, we've we did the uh NFL uh, Football Card Hall of Fame last year, and we'll be doing it again this year coming up in the next month or so, uh, which is awesome. So it's just been great to to work with Bart uh, along the way. Just a, a great collector and definitely a channel you should go check out, Bart's Cards. Um, and beyond that, you know, a lot of the people that I tend to still message with and, and, and to chat with the most are people that were part of that like YouTube Hall of Fame 2020 class. Um, you know, in that class you have Dave Blue Jacket 66, uh, who obviously the, the last video I made, you know, we just talked about the Lombardi check. Um, feel free to check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, Dave, you know, I talked to him on an on and off basis and certainly a, a gentleman that I uh, always look to hook, hook up with at the National and chat with and just a great guy overall. And also uh, Bob Lewis is from that class as well. And Bob, uh, Bob is the only other YouTuber that's actually been to my place. Uh, he stopped out here uh, a couple years ago now. Uh, he had to come out here for work and uh, was, just made it work where he could come over and check out the place and hang out for a bit. So Bob Lewis and Burkett 8, the only two YouTubers to see the Scotty Tradition collection up close. Um, so Bob Lewis, great dude. Uh, Beeroth6, Brian, uh, we always seem like the last three nationals i've been to in chicago we always find time to kind of walk the floor for a little bit at least and uh, he's one of those guys that i love chat with uh, along the way um fortunately at the last national uh, he seemed to be a little busy because he's also a, a dealer as well now um card soup is his his business so uh a little less time for the friendly camaraderie so to speak and uh, a little more time for work but um still Again, these kind of channels, we kind of all got really close at the same time back in 2020. So B. Roth 6 is another one. Uh, Andrew Nuff Sig Cards. Um, always looking to find him at the National and hang out. And um, I think we uh, actually walked back, we uh, rode back together in that rainstorm uh, back uh, from the uh, Lowe's get-together <laughs> during the last National. And we do text on and off a fair amount uh, throughout the year. Um and again, Andrew Nuff said card is just a stand-up guy. Uh, Phil Kin as well uh, from that year. Um, a lot of stuff we chat about can be non-sports related as well, chatting on and off. But um, again, always great to, to chat with Phil at the National. And then, uh, of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Andy. She blinded me with refractors. Um, just another great guy. And uh, just one of those people like I need to see at the National. Um, just we kind of like Andy's one of those people you can just and Andy I'm sure a lot of people feel this way about Andy but Andy's just one of those people you just pick up with wherever you left off and it's just like perfectly fine like there's no awkwardness or anything like that it's just a I think we're probably cut from a very similar cloth and uh, uh, you can never have enough people like that in your life um, so I know Andy's reached out to me a little bit on and off with uh, my stepdad passing away um, last month so certainly appreciate that um, and then other people I, you know, like Ed Wesker Griff, we've spent time walking around the last two Nationals, I think, getting to spend that extra time together. And also rated rookie Josh, someone I always look to hook up with at the National, although I'm pretty sure the last National, um, he just, for whatever reason, we just kept missing each other for the most part and didn't get to spend all that much time hanging out. But totally fine. I know how the National goes. 
Um, but these are all people, again, uh, that were, at least, they've all been in the hobby on YouTube at least five, six, seven, maybe even more years. So people I've gotten to know over a period of time. Um, I've really enjoyed getting to talk with some new people too. Um, some videos I've watched recently and commented on and um, followed along with, but it does take time to kind of build these relationships. So um, I'm looking forward to fostering many more relationships along the way. Um, these are these have all been great, all great people. Again, nobody that's like super close that I'm like, uh, you know, that are coming over to like spend the night or anything like that. Um, but these are people that I just respect in the hobby, the way they collect, the way they operate. Um, pretty much all high character individuals. And um, it's just always fun to be able to shed some light and talk about these great channels. So again, if you haven't got a chance yet, go over and subscribe to Orlando, A Collector's Dream and uh, Sammy Thunder's channel. They're both uh, approaching 2000 subscribers. Again, I think Sammy's there already and Orlando is very close. Um, and another thing I'll just mention is I, I am able, as far as the hobby friends go in general, like it's not just YouTube for me. There's other, I'm a part of a couple different forums, uh, VFC, so that's the Vintage Football Community, and LTS, and there's a lot of uh, people from both those forums that I talk to a lot, and that I do connect with at the National as well, so like a lot of the reasons I can't hit up all the YouTube functions all the time is because I'm at like the VFC dinner, so, um, and all those great folks, so. Um, and then there's the, pa the Facebook Packer community as well, which is a lot of great Packer collectors that I talk to a lot on and off. Um, obviously a lot of the collect, uh, cards I've gotten in this year have been Packer related. So, uh, these are all things that I talk with, the, with that group a lot more about than, um, so much the YouTube community. So there's just a lot of different facets of hobby friends that I've gotten to know over the past eight years. Um, I think. I was actually just checking this out, but because I just hit the 400 video mark with my last video. So it's funny to think I made 400 videos already. And my first one was uh, eight about eight years ago. So um, I've already hit that eight year, eight year threshold, which is pretty fun and wild that it's been going on that long. So again, uh, yeah, if you have not subscribed to Been Living Under a Rock for the last, you know, four or five years in YouTube, um, go check out some of these channels. Um, everybody I named here is just a solid individual. Um, they all bring something great to the hobby. And they're people I've really uh, enjoyed getting to know, uh, whether it be through text or Facebook Messenger and just chatting about whatever over the last number of years. I, I certainly do appreciate the opportunity to get to know all these people. So um, with that, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll talk to you again soon. I do have a end of the year review video i'm going to put that out in the next week or so hopefully um just kind of going through my year's pickups which isn't always a fun which is always a fun video to do one of those videos i look forward to every year uh one of the videos is definitely at the top 100 video and then also the yearly review video those are the two fun ones my most fun videos i like to do um over the years so stay tuned for that and um we'll talk to you again soon everybody have a great day thanks for watching